Hello, my name is Richard. Today, I will be going over week one of Learn to Program Crafting Quality Code. Today, I will be showing you my three versions of Algorithm 1, Algorithm 2, and Algorithm 3, provided by Mr. Paul and Ms. Jennifer to solve our palindrome problem, to write functions that can determine whether a word is a palindrome. To start us off, let's uh, find, uh, let me tell you, uh, refresh your minds, about what a palindrome is. So basically, what you do is um, you have a word, and one of the words provided by um, Ms. Jennifer was noon. Noon is a palindrome because if you reverse it and you put N-O-O-N, it's exactly the same as this one. Another one, also provided by Ms. Jennifer, is race car. Basically, what race car is, is flipped. It's R-A-C-E-C-A-R. -E so these are palindromes. And there's a bunch of other palindromes. You can look them up to find like a, an entire list. I'm sure they have it. And so what we have to do is determine whether a string, let's just say another word like dented, also provided by the teachers, is a palindrome. And if you test it using algorithm one, you uh, flip it over, it's D-E-T-N-E-D, -E -E which is basically, uh, it's not a palindrome. <clears throat> and also, the second algorithm to refresh your minds, you cut it in half, and you flip this one, so it becomes D-E-T, and then you compare this one and this one, D-E-N and D-E-T, and they're not the same. Algorithm 3, it takes the first letter, compares it to the last, the second uh, letter, and compares the second last, and so on. Also, this also verifies this one is not a palindrome. So let's move on to uh, the code. As you can see, I've also found out how to do the two sides, um, the both windows. Uh, per Mr. Paul, uh, he replied to my forum post very nicely. Thank you very much. You hold the Windows key, the four boxes um, with a circle around it, and you hit the right arrow key for this for this um, window, and the left arrow key for this one, unless you want to flip them, which is all of your choice. So let's um, hurry on to the next point. I did uh, write a helper function, uh, reverse word, and I did write all this code before I even saw how the teachers wrote the algorithm. I uh, was watching this video and I decided, let me see if I can write my uh, versions of algorithm 1, algorithm 2, and algorithm 3 based on the descriptions provided and see how it compares to theirs. And if you take a quick look, it's very, very different. Uh, the first function is isPDROME1. It can't be really different no matter who writes it. Basically, you just reverse the word using the reverse function, and you check the words and to see if they're equal. The second function is isPDROME2. Um, at first, I have two variables defining empty strings, first half and second half. So I'm already starting my version of the description. I'm cutting it in half using these functions. This function puts uh, the first uh, half in the first half variable. And this if statement, it puts the second half, or this if else uh, statement, it puts it in the second half, the second half of the word. So this is a uh, cutting in half. Now, I reverse the second half and check to see if they're true. In the video, Mr. Paul, he used slicing and a bunch of complex variables and things like that. I didn't really understand. So this is more of an elementary level code. So I'm hoping that if you didn't understand their code, like I was a little bit bewildered, you can understand mine. Uh, my function is pdrome3, the third algorithm, is the most different from the teachers. They used uh, a bunch of different things, but I basically just wrote it all out. I have uh, two indexes. First index is zero. The second index is the length of the word minus one. So basically, the last index, or also known as negative one. I have a number accumulator called pflag, and I'm basically, uh, through this code, I'm going to run the uh, accumulator. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to run the accumulator, and after it, p flag will uh, return a number. So if if p flag is equal to the length of the word divided by two, so it should equal and it returns true. Otherwise, return false. So let's take a closer look into this code. I'm defining two new variables: character one and character two. 
and they're inside the while loop, so every time it runs, these two are changing. Character 1 is equal to the word at the first index. Character 2 is equal to the word at the second index. So these are two different letters. If character 1 is equal to character 2, p flag plus equals 1, else break. So, the reason I have this code here is that if this, this breaks before the while loop finishes, then this will not return as true. The reason is it will have a lower number. It needs to add up every single time the two words are things. So let's uh, let's take a look, uh, drawing it out as a um, code. So let's look at noon. I cut this in half. Wait, no, this is not the cut in half. <laughs> this is the index at zero. Length of the word minus one, four, is three. So what I'm doing is taking n and n, character one and character two, and seeing if they're equal. P flag plus equals one if it's true. So it is true, so it's going to go up to 1. Now, you do it again, and oh, oh, it's also true. So then, it becomes 2. And now, evaluate this, it's 4 divided by 2. So 2 is equal to 2, it returns true. However, a word like dented will not return true. And the reason is because this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, this is 5. And then D and D, it does return true, so P flag is now 1. E and E, it does return true, so now it's 2. N and T, however, it doesn't, so it breaks it off, and now it's only left with P flag as 2. However, there are 6 characters, and when it divides it by 2 in this, uh, this uh, line here, it returns 3. So 2 is not equal to 3. And that's how you do it. Basically, these are my functions, and that's how I wrote it. So I hope you enjoy it, and before I leave, I'm going to test out these functions. Uh, you're welcome to close the video if you like. So um, I'm just going to test the reverse function first. I'm going to type in my name, Richard X. However, I did this wrong. There's an I in front of reverse. And I'm going to try it out, and it returns X struck here. Okay, check. Is P drone 1? I'm just going to do this quickly with race car. And it should return true. I'm sorry about the lag, there's something wrong with my computer right now. Let's try the second algorithm. And if you do remember from the video, an algorithm is basically just a set of steps that you use to solve a problem. So it checks out perfectly. So let's try noon with is pgm2, it returns true. And finally, the last algorithm with dente. Let's see how it works. So it uh, dente, but it still returns false. So let's try p drone 3 again with dented. And it all checks. Oh, I am not doing my best today. <laughs> let's try that again. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> p drone. And we should check it out as false. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, remember to put an up like on YouTube if you have an account or a comment, that would be great. Or on Coursera, go ahead and tell me what I did wrong and what I did right. So thank you for watching and I hope you, I'll see you next time. Thank you.